church, uh, just drawn here to the end of my time of praying for you and some of the needs uh, that you have sent in. And I just want to say it's a, a privilege uh, to agree with you uh, and to continue to pray God's covering over our church. I uh, just wanted to share a few things that God uh, has just put into my spirit as I was praying. Uh, before I do so, I just uh, want to begin by saying I love you. I miss you. Um, we miss you. We look forward to uh, a glorious celebration. Uh, someday soon we'll, we'll be able to get back together and uh, just praying what that would look like uh, for us. Uh, but as I uh, alluded to earlier, I just wanted to pass along a, a few things to you today from my time of prayer. And these refer to uh, four different names of God that were just dropped in my spirit that I was praying for the church, praying for you. Uh, and, and let me just share these with you. Number one, uh, that he is Jehovah Jireh, our provider. Uh, and we find this in the book of Genesis, the story of Abraham when he's soon to offer his son Isaac uh, there on the altar. Uh, and miraculously, just as this is fixing to take place, uh, God provides him a ram that's caught uh, there in a bush close by. Uh, and he's able to sacrifice the ram instead of his son Isaac out of obedience to God. And, and I want you to know that uh, even when we may least expect it, uh, that God's provision is always faithful. He, he understands our needs. He understands what we're going through. Uh, and I believe in his provision uh, into each one of your lives. Uh, secondly today, that he is uh, Jehovah Rapha, our healer. Uh, and we've learned about this in Exodus chapter 15, uh, there where the Israelites are on their exodus, traveling through the desert of Shur and been without water for a few days, come across this water, they taste it, it's bitter. They begin to grumble. The Lord uh, tells Moses to put the wood into the water and then uh, all of a sudden the water becomes sweet. And then just a couple of verses after that, uh, God reminds them that if they would walk in obedience to his commands and his decrees, that he would be their healer. And, and I believe in God's healing into your life, whether it's a, a physical healing, an emotional healing, a relational healing, uh, a spiritual healing uh, in, into your life, maybe somebody within your family. I just believe in God's divine healing uh, as he has taught us uh, through his word. Uh, the third word, uh, or the third name I want to give you is Jehovah Nissi, which simply means the Lord is my banner or the Lord is my victory. Uh, and we find this in Exodus 17, uh, where the Israelites are battling the Amalekites and the battle's going back and forth. I, I would imagine, and as long as Moses kept his, his arms lifted up, his hands raised to God, the Israelites were winning the battle, but when his arms began to fall, the Amalekites began to take over the battle. Uh, and it was here where um, Aaron and Hur come alongside Moses and help prop his arms up so he can keep his hands lifted to God. And as his hands are lifted to the Lord, uh, the Lord provides them victory uh, over the Amalekites. And, and no matter the battle that you're experiencing, uh, we all recognize the corporate battle that we're facing, but sometimes we face our own individual battles. I, I want you to know that God is your victory. Uh, we just have to trust and rely upon him and be obedient to him uh, and realize that he will, he will do the good work. And then lastly, uh, I, I wanted to bring to your attention the name Jehovah Shammah, which means the Lord is present or the Lord is here. And, and I want you to know that the Lord is here with us. Uh, just as he promised Joshua that he would never leave us, that he would never forsake us, um, that, that he, he is faithful. Um, and, and I know that he's working in many of your lives because I've heard of some of the testimonies, the good reports, which is just continual evidence that, that God is with us, that God is working on our behalf. Uh, and, and I want you to, to rest in that assurance today realizing that, that God is for you in all things, at all times, as we faithfully honor him and walk with him. And I trust that you have a blessed week uh, this week. And as I said earlier, I look forward to someday soon us being able to get back together. God bless you.